So hello everybody, Bitwig 6 in beta version number 5 is out, which fixes lots of bugs, which is really, really great. But it brings also new features, which is pretty surprising in the beta version. But nevertheless, it brings cool updates to the group tracks. I always loved group tracks because they make mixing so much easier. You just group something, for example... Let's remove the group. You can put this on the keyboard command, just press Ctrl and G and you have a group and you can say these are my bass tracks and you can then handle the mixing of these group tracks here on one channel. For example, add a compressor, which then compresses all of the subtracks. And yeah, this is pretty helpful for mixing already. But now in this new update, we get additional new features. Before this update, you had always this confusing distinction that you could either see the clips, which are in the group here in this slot, or also here in the arranger, or or see an audio clip which you might have put as a replacement here on the scene or also partially here in the arranger. But now this is only on one track. So this toggle got removed to show either the master track content or the group track content. And this simplifies things a lot. But what does it mean? Especially we will have a look at that in a second. But what they also changed is that you have now a separated stop clip button and a return to arranger button, which means if I start here the whole scene, I can now stop only that crew or return to the arranger for only that crew. And this is already pretty helpful. And even if you go inside of that group, you will also keep that functionality, which means if we start playback again, we can start now only this group and stop it again or go here to the arranger for only that group. But let's go back up again. And what is also new is you see here the clips, which we had already before, but now you also see the play position, which you might have noticed. So if we start playback again, you see we have here the play position as well. So even if we close all the groups, we still got an idea what's going on in our group and where the clips are playing back here. Even if you made it small like this, you can still see it, but you can also enlarge it and get a very good idea what's happening inside of your group tracks. But another thing is also interesting, if we want to render a group completely to save resources, for example, you can now do this directly here on the so-called meta clip. And you could simply right click here and say you want to bounce it in place, which means it's non-destructive because it bounces it to the group tracks and does not change anything on the child tracks, which means also that meta clip is still there. So for example, if we cut here a bit in the beginning, we will be back here to our meta clip. So you could make here only a part of it visible, which means if I play back, this is now the children tracks playing. So this is now the audio track playing. And you can hear that better if you, for example, mute one of these two tracks. We have now only that one playing. Or even only that. And now we are back to two. And you could also partially render that. So you don't have to render the whole track. You could only render a part of it. For example, if you want to apply something to that, a change, let's do that. So render here that part only. So we have that one. And here you can now use the normal functionality for audio editing. For example, you could say you want to reverse the sound, solo that. And then are back to the normal playback. Or you could also edit the audio, for example, cut out here pieces and do stuff like that.
but it's also helpful for editing MIDI. For example, let's remove that again. You can, for example, transpose the whole group content. For example, if you select that one and then say you want to transpose one octave up, then everything inside that moves up. And you can do that also in the whole project. For example, if you would group these three together and say this is our whole project group and here you could simply select that maybe let's show them so you can see what's happening and then i say i want to transpose this up by one octave and then all of these clips do change yeah and also for sure all the other features are available like what we have here in the menu you could quantize all of them at once but with such a feature and yeah that's pretty helpful so a pretty nice addition in Bitwig 6 in the current beta 5. And yeah, there might be more to come. And until next time, make some funky music.